good evening everyone welcome to my youtube channel uh, so today we will discuss about the recruitment of abb campus equipment of uh, abb its uh, eligibility criteria its written test and uh, my interview experience so uh, in my previous video i discussed about the recruitment of texas student its eligibility criteria and the written test exams as well as my interview experience with that so in this video we will discuss everything reg regarding abb recruitment okay so previously uh, my uh, channel name was get helper for double e now i change it to get Hel uh, get helper for engineers okay so it's all about in my channel you will find every information regarding the jobs okay so okay so let's start our video so today we will discuss about uh, recruitment of abb okay okay so first of all uh, we will talk about the eligibility criteria okay so in my in my college uh, all the btech uh, csc was allowed in this equipment okay and and uh, mtech csc triple e and me uh, me uh, double me all specialization and ec uh, these branches were eligible okay uh, so what i can uh, what i have to uh, tell to you that uh, uh, it's 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 all about the placement coordinator whether he is able to convince the hr to allow more uh, branches to sit in the recruitment okay in my college uh, maybe because of uh, my placement coordinator these, these many branches were eligible for the uh, for the recruitment okay and in my college abb come for research and development profile uh, okay r and d profile they have came so these branches were eligible okay so first of all we will talk about cgpa cgpa uh, for btech as well as for mtech must be greater than 6.5 okay and class 11th and class 12th uh, percentage must be greater than yeah class 11th and class 12th percentage must be greater than 60% okay and no standing backlog this means if you are in btech there should be not any live back or in mtech there should not be any backlog okay so no be current back backlog is not uh, is, if you have a current backlog then you will not allow to sit in the placements okay so these are the eligibility criteria regarding uh, regarding the epb recruitment okay so uh, now i will discuss about uh, yeah let, first of all uh, most of the people having uh, this question that uh, which subjects uh, you should prepare for written test of abb so that i am going to discuss about that uh, which subjects you should prepare these are the subjects you should prepare uh, for abb written test uh, i will just uh, brief about uh, like what type of questions they have given in the written test as well as i will discuss the topics that you should prepare uh, for the interview okay so before that uh, first first of all uh, like uh, there will be some resume shortlisting will be there okay like a google form will be circulated in your group in which you have to upload your basic informations and uh, your resume okay so first of all there will be resume shortlisting after that you will be eligible for uh, giving uh, written test okay so like how to make a resume and all that uh, i have already discussed in my in my channels in my previous videos so that you can watch and my resume was uh, shortlisted for this abb recruitment okay so now uh, we will discuss about the written test like in written test uh, what type of questions do they uh, uh, do they go to ask and which subjects you should prepare so if i could recall it was around you have to do 40 to 50 questions were there and you have to do those questions in one or 1.5 hours around uh, like that only okay like in placements you will only have this this many questions like 50, 50 to 60 questions max in one or two hours that's only the average for all the companies okay so now we will uh, sorry now i will discuss about the subjects so first of all in power system what they are going to ask they will uh, ask everything regarding protection part okay power system power system production is one of the most important topic they won't ask about that the fault analysis and then steady state criteria and all those things they won't ask in the written test as well as in the uh, interview okay they will mainly uh, focusing on this uh, like uh, different types of relay direction relay and this loss of acceleration then transform transformer protection part and then electromagnetic relay working principle na, application of ct and pt so i am just uh, discussing uh, discussing this uh, these things with, uh, with, uh, with respect to written test as well as with respect to uh, interview experience okay so like what type of questions do they touch so these things you have to prepare well prepare well the protection part okay and then starting basics of the power system you have to prepare now uh, second subject is power electronics in power electronics 
like questions in written test they will ask mostly in in pe they will rarely ask question in the interview in power electronics you have to prepare well about chopper converter okay and then uh, some questions related with the switching device like uh, what is the difference between mosfet and igbt or which one is mesotic carrier which one is manotic carrier so this type of questions will be there in the written as well as in the interview okay so numerical will be not that much like in gate there's been difficult questions to be asked from the subjects but in, in this uh, written test they won't ask any that much uh, level of numerical okay so just have to clear with the basics of chopper and converter now uh, next subject is electric machines for in electric machines uh, they will mainly focus on induction motor and synchronous motor they won't ask uh, any questions regarding dc motor in my written test i am sharing okay they may ask in the future that i can't guarantee but whatever test i have given uh, in that test uh, there was question regarding induction motor and synchronous motor uh, and all questions was i think two or three questions were there it's completely on theoretical questions were there no numerical uh, were there or if maybe numerical will be there from induction motor a simple numerical like uh, rotor couple or simple direct formula base okay no that much uh, difficult questions so that they will ask about electric machines and then uh, electric circuit we will talk about uh, for electric circuit uh, like simple networks will be there different techwords i hope you studied now electric network so that that will be there in every every uh, written test exams of almost all the company all the core companies which are coming to the uh, campus so all the things uh, like network will be definitely will be there like two port network and then transient analysis and the steady state analysis and then basic theorems na the thinness question i think thinness yeah one questions for there from the thinness network in which you have to uh, uh, like find out voltage thinness voltage and thinness resistance so that questions were there not norton's uh, theorems so theorems based question will be there and this uh, definitely numerical they will ask okay so now it, like four to five questions we will you can have from this uh, electric uh, network okay then this facts so this facts i hope uh, you have studied in your uh, in your btech fourth year or you have studied in your amtech first year either your power electronics or your from power system engineers you must have studied this subject facts so facts they have asked questions regarding uh, basics questions only like uh, hvdc and hvac like uh, like uh, for shorter distance which one is used for longer distance which one is used Uh, and then like which type of classes more occur in uh, hvdc and hvc regarding uh, they are like uh, basic questions regarding hvdc and hvac only they will ask okay so this this like only basic you have to study about facts uh, then about control system uh, for control system like uh, same as uh, question will be on uh, rs criteria time response uh, rise time peak time so li like uh, basics uh, whatever you are prepare for gate uh, that you will same type of questions you will get here only okay not that much high level okay so that i hope i discussed uh, all the topics which they cover maybe one or two subjects more will be there like analog electronics and and all so that uh, you have to study okay so not that, that much question has been asked but still mainly will be focus out of if they have given 30 questions the, from the technical part so i think i have covered about 25 to 26 questions like 26 questions were from these subjects only okay so one thing i have to just guarantee do that prepare well this protection part power system protection parts okay like this and relay and all circuit breaker and all these things okay. so i hope it will help you in both written test as well as in interview process so these things are there and facts they have asked a uh, bit uh, more questions out of the uh, maybe four to five questions regarding spdc and all uh, there are uh, many things are there like home uh, link something like that so that they will ask they have asked okay so uh now these are the uh, reasoning topics which i uh, uh, thought ke like these are the topics which definitely they will ask in every placement uh, placement exams okay that uh, these all topics please go through the topics time and work speed and distance edge then benz diagram problem ratio and proportion data interpretation direction blood relations number series profit and loss and uh, simple interest and common interest okay so they will definitely ask questions regarding that so these things are there okay and then please prepare this the profit loss and simple interest and compound interest like definitely you will have question on these topics and on this top topic time and work speed and distance so these four topics you will find questions definitely you will find questions okay so these topics that you should prepare not for only abb but for all the other placements re uh, related uh, placement related uh, uh, exams okay so maybe more topics are there so these are the maximum to topics which i covered prepare well all this because these are very important for your selection process 
so now i will discuss uh, my uh, my uh, like in this interview questions which i have written like i have also given the interview i am i my friends have also given the interview all thing almost out of 90 people 6 6 to 8 people selected for the interview so i have uh, i have taken the questions from them i have asked like what type of question i have asked so this whatever i am representing these interview questions uh, it's like a Three to four people have given in the feedback. Like this question, I uh, they have asked, and mm-hmm. I have also added interview questions of mine. So these are the uh, combined things. Okay. So so first of all, they will definitely uh, 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 ask regarding introduction, and then after introduction, they will ask about your B Tech project. B Tech project, uh, like uh, I just I will just suggest you, if your B Tech project hardware implementation is not possible d- during your B Tech time, then try to do in your M Tech college. Okay, it will really help you. Because in every interview they will ask about hardware implementation, uh, then which equipments you have used and all those things. If you have done hardware, you will have a positive side. Okay, so everything they will ask about BTEC project complete in depth they will ask. Okay, so if you are electrical or electronics engineer, they will definitely ask for very good level of questions, actual practical questions they will ask. Okay, and then uh, suppose uh, generally they will come in M uh, M Tech uh, third sem, third sem or second sem. so they will ask uh, discuss about your uh, project also that which topic you are going to cover either if they are going to come in a third semester in then they will you should have a brief idea about time tech project and they will ask about uh, that did you uh, publish any paper and all so these things are there okay so uh, these are the questions which he ask like uh, why gate drivers are utilized in power converters okay and then uh, what is opto isolators what a voltage sent regulator why isolation transformers are required okay and then difference between a synchronous buck converter and synchronous buck converter actually uh, this questions uh, my friends has shared this and my friends uh, mtech project was related with this buck converter only so that's why i think he has asked this questions maybe uh, maybe he can also ask to you also so everything you will see that uh, related with the electrical power system only power system or control system power system and power electronics huh? so this question they have asked okay it's so like uh, if they if once they will start asking your mtech project or btech project so you will definitely have like they will spend almost 15 to 20 minutes on the project only so everything they will ask in depth they will ask okay uh, so if you have done uh, it's hardware it's well and good for you okay so this type of questions has been asked about the isolation transformer and all those okay now then the, the circuit breaker they have asked that what is circuit breaker is working best well and then relay like if i could recall they have asked me uh, regarding the explain me the working of electromagnetic relay electromagnetic relay is there so uh, they have told me to put draw in the copy and explain its working best well okay so they have asked me about working best well all, all those things and then they have asked me about current transformer and potential transformer like what is the application of this transformers like uh, how we are using it in our uh, Power uh, substations and all, okay. And then uh, basic principles of MCB that how MCB and all these things works. So you have to explain it's uh, like it's working like how it's going to work, okay. So in the same way, if I could recall completely, then they will definitely ask the application like what are voltage sense regulator and what are these applications, okay. And in the similarly for BTEC and the project, they will ask everything whatever you have done. So try to cover these two very well. Uh, then they will ask CTPT. I have already discussed. Then induction motor, basic things only they will ask for machines parts. Most of the interview will ask about basics only. Okay, not any deep test like what is slip test, what is XD, what is X XL, and what is silent coil motor, all those things. Only basic principle they have asked about the basic principle of induction motor and all. Okay, uh, then uh, they have asked uh, about the battery management system. Since uh, my project was related with uh, battery related with battery and all. Okay, it's for uh, basically hybrid energy storage system (HESS). So in that we are using hybrid uh, battery and super capacitor. So they have asked me about uh, uh, battery management system as algorithm, like uh, uh, they, now all those things they have asked. Uh, they have asked regarding this. Okay, whatever possible can be asked. And then uh, they have asked how to generate a gating pulse. Now, like for for example, we have studied about half wave converter, full wave converter, inverter, and all those things. So for all this, we are using MOSFET and IGBT. Now. Uh, so for for those things, how we generate the pulses? So that's the one of the uh, most one of the most asked question in the interview. Like how to generate that gate uh, gating pulses for this? So I will soon make a video on this. Uh, by the way, this uh, gating pulse and PWM, PWM pulses 
uh, are being generated uh, with the help of uh, triple five timer many things are there like in our uh, hardware setup in, in in our amtech we were generating pwm pulses with the help of d space then one software is the one setup is a d space so with the help of that we uh, generate pwm pulses okay so that that things uh, they have asked uh, like complete about in uh, whenever you are doing the experiment then how to yeah, how you are generated this getting bus and all okay and then they have asked that uh, which type of charging is used to charge ebs actually uh, that uh, there are two types of charging constant voltage charging and constant current charging okay so they will ask what are the types of charging and which one is more preferred and why like why we prefer constant current and why we prefer voltage current so that you have to tell the answers about its uh, working huh? so these are the questions uh, which they have asked uh, regarding i hope i have shared uh, the everything okay so many questions uh, will be related to your projects only and then after that once your project and uh, all these are this, these things are over they will start searching uh, questions regarding uh, this uh, power system protection parts uh, protection part induction this uh, motor side and power electronics and types okay so these things are they are, uh, they are going to ask and uh, since they have come for uh, research and development profile so they were asking regarding electric vehicles that how to charge and then, uh, how to charge and the start uh, sorry how to charge this electric vehicles what are the different methods and then how to increase the life of electric vehicles since uh, like electric vehicle uh, was trending at that time huh? it's now also is trending so the questions was related with that okay so like this these questions were there okay so hope it's going to work so now after this interview so interview was around i think uh, 40 to 50 minutes interview was there okay my interview was 40 to 50 minutes after that hr was there okay one technical interview was there so last question was uh, was they asked me after my uh, like at the end of my interview like do you have any question for us so i will just suggest you you should ask questions if if the interviewer had asked you that do you have any questions for us you should ask the questions just go through the abb wikipedia of any company wikipedia and search through it that what what company is doing what research and development company is doing and what what they are going to do in the future and what challenges do, do they are facing so with respect to that you have, you have to ask the questions okay so if the interviewer has told you to ask the questions you must have to ask the questions and it must be a technically sound questions it should not be any illogical questions okay so ask this question you should you, should, you must ask must ask the ask for technical technically questions like whatever uh, challenges do they are facing in their current scenario with respect to that you should ask like sir uh, uh, how like some questions like uh, what i think i have asked like uh, so what you are doing for uh, fast charging of the electric vehicles so what equipments or what uh, systems uh, ebb are developing so that uh, upcoming evs can be charged faster and all those things so you have to ask questions uh, regarding their uh, their profile and what they are going to going to do in the future okay so these things are there so thank you uh, for being my channel so this is the link for using uh, abb image and the source of the image is google okay so these things are there so thank you for, for coming to my channel in my next video i will be discussing about uh, my inter internship program like internship interview for the intel after that uh, i have given interview for lnt and all those things so that i will discuss in my uh, upcoming videos so please subscribe to my youtube channel so hopes is going to help for you okay so i think i have discussed everything every possible thing whatever possible okay so prepare well and all the best so thank you thank you